Welcome to Ridge Life. I'm Tim, and today on Ramblings, you're here with Jen. She is back. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> and we are going to do a Ramblings in style today. Uh, you guys, normally normally we're sitting here in our uh, those maroon zero-gravity chairs. I like those, don't yeah, you? They're well, good got, chairs. Tom Shoe has sent us two more brand new ones, black ones, and I am ready to try them out because those I got those at Lowe's and uh, they cost twice as much as these from Tom Shoe. Now you can get this on Amazon and uh, I love those chairs. So if they're like, if they're anything like them, I think they're exactly like them. Looking at the, uh, the what they sent me, I believe these are exactly like those, those chairs I got from Lowe's that cost twice as much, twice as much. So let's go ahead and open this up, get my trusty pocket knife out here. We are. See if I can do it without cutting them, right? <laughs> you ever do that before, open a box with a knife and cut what was inside? Yeah. You don't like doing that. All right, let's see here. All right. Here we go. Uh, unfold, set in them. Can you, can you do that? <laughs> That's pretty much what it says, unfold and set in them. So, all right, you get one. All right, and I'll get the other. Even in my old gimped up self here, let's see if I can do this. Throw that over there. Throw that over there. All right. Ooh, these look just like them, don't they? Yeah, they do. These look just like them. I uh, think they're probably made in the same, same, manu same factory. Same factory. Throw that over there. All right. Let's see. Yeah, they're exact. Oh, my goodness. We've got the little table here. Set them back. Tom shoe. Zero gravity chair. Okay, they, they have these little tables. You can put your phone right there, a magazine or a book, couple um, cup holders. All you do is just slide them down right there for a table. And uh, I think we're good. Got these little um, cushioned uh, headrests. These are so comfortable. I tried without these before. Jin Jin, don't these make a difference? They do, they absolutely do. Okay. You have one missing on that one. Uh, Grandma's fixing it because okay. it, it loosened up a little bit. Here we you go. Lift the chair down a little huh? bit. Okay, you just uh, loosen up the. There's two knobs on the other side here because they'll lock it into position. And we'll show them how to do that here in just a second. All right, get your drink. So what we do, and they have um, little plastic guards on the bottom to protect the uh, the metal surface. These are all steel too, steel and textile fabric. So let's sit in them. All right. Oh, even my all gimped up self here. Put my in the little table here. Comfy. Okay. Get your back, your pillow set right where you want it. Okay. You may back yours up just a little bit. Back your chair up. Match, match, match me. Here we go. Here we go. There. These are exactly the same. They are. These are exactly the same as my uh, Lowe's chairs. Now those. Are twice as much. These are, I think, seventy dollars. I'm gonna grab that bag. Yeah, these are seventy dollars on Amazon, and I believe those are like hundred and forty. So, half price. These are half price. So, Jin Jin's back, guys. Oh, okay. And they also they hold hundred and ninety pounds. Right. I mean, I'm sorry, two hundred and ninety pounds. They'll hold two hundred ninety pound person. So, if you're two hundred ninety pounds, if you can fit in here, it'll hold it to you. And also. You can go 170 degrees, 170 degrees all the way back. Oh, this is so comfortable. Try, try yours. <laughs> Look wow. at that. Look at that. Is that nice? Very. Ooh, okay, come up. All right. And there's two little knobs here on the side. You can lock it in place. Get it right where you want. You just lock it in place. All right, guys. Well, thank you, Tom Shoe, for sending these to me. Uh, I'll leave the link down in the description if you're interested in these. Get half price as the ones on Amazon. And, and look, they're exactly the same. Identical. They are, they are exactly. I know, Elvis, they're exactly the same. I guarantee they're made in the same factory. I guarantee it. Yeah. Um, and those have lasted a very, very long time. The only issue I had is the elastic right here wearing out over time, and Grandma Carol just fixed it for me. So... Uh, we'll, we'll keep using uh, those out here, and I'm going to save these for trips and things, and then we'll rotate them out. But thank you, Tom Shoe. Appreciate that very, very much. Whew, guys, I am recovering. Think I'm getting around better than you thought? He's getting around good now. <laughs> really good. Uh, we, 
I went out to a restaurant for the very first time last night with Jin Jin. Not the first time to a restaurant with Jin Jin, first time since the surgery, <laughs> leaving the house other than going to PT. I think I left the bathroom, bathroom, bedroom, it was like 16 times, is that what I said? Mm -hmm. I think I left the bedroom in two weeks, 16 times. And uh, since Jin Jin's in here, I um, came over to the Ridge Crib, first time in the, back in the Ridge Crib. Um, I did not stay over here. I still stayed over at Grandma Carol's because I have to have access to the, uh, the facilities a lot closer and I have all my other uh, safety items, you know. But she stayed in the Ridge Crib. Was it cool last night? It was nice and cool. Had the windows open, so I was getting me a good breeze in there. So, um, we went and ate Mexican last night. Um, what'd you have? Oh, um, chicken steak, fajita, taco salad. Oh, the, the, the fried, the fried bowl yeah. with all the, and, and you ate the bowl, you ate all that crust, right? No, I left, <laughs> I left the bowl. I was trying to be good. She was trying to be good. <laughs> she didn't eat the best part of a taco salad. I know a lot, a lot you know, that, uh, but the, you said the chick, stick and shake was sticking, ch <laughs> chicken and steak was good. It was very good. Yes. Um, I had a, uh, uh, ground beef chimichanga. Normally I get the shrimp chimichanga, but the ground beef was very delicious. It was very delicious. Well, I'm glad you liked it. Yeah. I didn't think you would, because usually they don't season the hamburger meat. Maybe they put some seasoning, but I like the taco seasoning in mine. So when I eat theirs, I'm just kind of like, mm. And then we got get steak. We got uh, extra chips and salsa for Grandma Carol to go. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because she she likes her chips and salsa. Um, then we uh, let's see what else we we uh, played Uno. No, no, we played phase 10, mm -hmm. right? And she says she normally beats me in phase 10. Well, I usually stay a couple of sets ahead of him, but this time he was like blowing me away. He was smoking me, he won. <laughs> <laughs> and I was behind him two sets. But I still, yeah, still, still only beat you by two sets. So yeah. that, that's nice. Have you ever played Phase 10, guys? It's so fun. Phase 10 is so, so fun. Got up today and see, Jin Jin hasn't been here in a while. She's been working just a little bit. Explain to yeah. the people what, what, why you've been working so hard and what, what hours you've been working. Parts of our billing system came back up. So I've been going in at 6 and staying until 5.30 through the week. Um, and then on Saturdays, working all day Saturday. So Sundays is really the only day I get to sleep in. And I told him, I said, <coughs> uh, mind if I sleep in today? And he said, go ahead, go ahead. So. Uh, and she still didn't sleep in yeah. much. Well, I slept till about 9.20. <laughs> I, uh, I, uh, you know, I was, long a, enough. I was working on my curls and I had rest lessons from the Ridge today, Ridge Life Lessons. And um, I'm preparing to start it at 9.30 a.m. Central and uh, Auntie Ann's in there and uh, let's see who else was in there. K62, I think it was, Linda, Wall, a couple a couple people were in there and um, here, here Jin Jin pops in. I was like, <laughs> I thought you were supposed to be sleeping, girl. I was awake. Might as well get in, get on in there. <laughs> it was a good lesson. Too. Oh, thank you very much. You're Appreciate that. Now she says it was for her, <laughs> and I tell you, she was zero in the thought process of, of that lesson. Uh, that was uh, uh, notes from Billy Graham. Actually, Billy Graham. Uh, that's that's kind of his thing. Yeah. Um, several people said that several, that message was for them. Yeah. 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 What's that? Oh, a spider. Look at that spider oh. floating in the sky. See that? Look at that. <laughs> Just in the sky. Oh my gosh. I'm glad it stayed over there by you. <laughs> um, yeah, Auntie Ann, I think Auntie Ann said it was for her. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's like, but, the, you know, if you ever been to church and the pastor's speaking, you're like, he's looking right at me. I have thought that many a times. <laughs> and if you don't go to church and your toes don't feel like they were stepped on a little bit, you're not going to a good church. Right. If all right. they if all they do is pat you on the back and tell you how awesome you are and keep up the being good Christians and all that, no, they need to be like uh, uh, people. Uh, I seen you last night. Welcome back, sinners. <laughs> Welcome back. <laughs> Step on them toes. <laughs> but uh, yeah. So the past few weeks, uh, Jen, Jen, well, what happened was see what happened was uh, when the. Um, when AT&T's towers went down, it just so happened to be the same time that the servers for the billing system, she works at a, a, a hospital, 
the servers, what was the name of that? The servers that went down that caused all the, it was a concept or con the big hospital servers for building and everything. There was a name for it, um, the company. We or, call it E-Premise or, um, we just call it E-Premise. Okay. There's another name for it though. But the same, it was the same day that the AT&T, all the AT&T shut down across America, the hospitals were uh, hacked hacked and uh, they lost service for a day or two. Yeah. Guys, that's been a couple, that's been a month yeah. and they're still recovering from it. So she's working all those hours, six days a week, going in at six o'clock in the morning, getting up at what, three or four, four o'clock in the morning? 3.45. Getting up at 3.45. So um, I'd blown my knee out. Normally she comes over here, drives all the way over here, 90 miles. And it just didn't make sense, you know, for a while there. Um, well, to, she were hurting really bad. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah. I just, I just needed, to, I just wanted to lay in bed and 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 moan and stuff, right? I so, didn't want to see you though. I know, I know, baby. I know. Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> so, um, uh, so she came over uh, Saturday after work, right? This weekend. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And uh, we did all that. Um, so after the lessons today. We went uh, looking for a place to eat. We were going to go to the chicken coop, right? Yeah. And um, I really love their salads, and that's what I was that was what I was craving. So. But that was closed on Sunday. A lot of places around here closed on Sunday. But we went to Somerville, and uh, went to uh, Milano's Pizza, right? Mm -hmm. a little place, and uh, they were packed. They were. It was like the place to be after church, wasn't it? Like everybody was in there. <laughs> um, I had a strambole. Stromboli, and we had uh, cheese, sticks. cheese sticks, and she had she was good. She had a chef salad, chef salad, yeah. and uh, it's really good. Unsweet tea. Oh my god! How do you drink unsweet tea? Well, great. Sweet low. No. Of course, I I had uh, I mixed uh, half Dr Pepper, half Diet Dr Pepper, trying to keep this girlish figure right here. So. <laughs> um, you see all the bees? There are tons of bees right now. And those are carpenter bees, like the kind that eat Grandma Carol's log cabin. Those kind of scare me, just yeah. because they're they're huge. Yeah, they're not bumblebees. Bumblebees, you know, have the black and the uh, uh, yellow stripes. Those have yellow on them, but those are they, those don't sting. Those don't bother they you. Don't? Nope, no. Nope. All they do is eat wood. Oh. Yeah. See this. Well, I've been terrified of them for all these years for now, no reason. Now bumblebees uh, can sting, but usually they, they don't. Um, and, but carpenter bees, no, nah, they're, they're, they, they don't mess with you. All they do is pretty much oh. eat wood. Okay. <laughs> don't, don't worry about it. They're, they're, if they're if you're going to hear me scream, it'll be because of those bumblebees, those huge ones. <laughs> yeah. I won't scream. Uh, but though. yeah, those, those, those big ones are carpenter bees and, uh, uh, all they do is eat, eat wood. And so Grandma Carol has those traps, those jars, those mason jars hanging from it. And it's an upside down, it's a mason jar screwed into a block of wood and there's, um, there's two holes drilled at 45 degree angles and then a hole down. The carpenter bees get in there and then they fall down in the bottle and they can't get out. Isn't that crazy? Yeah. It, it, yeah. yeah so she, she catches them by the handful, especially this, this time of the year. I've seen people put gasoline in little jugs and go like this on like oh. wasp nests and stuff. Oh yeah, yeah. That's, that's neat. <laughs> neat. But uh, what are we gonna do after uh, we upload this ramblings? He's gonna take me to his gym. We're gonna go to the gym, people. I'm gonna work out. I'm gonna. I'm gonna run a half marathon. No, you better not. <laughs> I. Uh, he might try though. But look, I do have my uh, big giant metal brace off. Yeah. This is the most I've been uh, uh, that I've been mobile, right? Since look at that. Look at that. That's 90 degrees. It does ache though, but. It, he, he needs to get that that brace back on there. <laughs> but uh, I this this brace here has metal strips on the side. And it is very supportive, not as supportive as that big metal one. But um, the doctor said, you know, when I'm sitting and uh, just just around, to get as much flexibility and get as much movement, I've got to strengthen up the muscles around that knee. I got to strengthen the muscles up around the knee. And this, what better way to do it than go to the gym? So what what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the gym. She's gonna do her gym stuff, and I'm gonna get on the um, uh, the sit down bike. And I'm just gonna bend that knee real slow. Zero, zero tension. Just bend that knee real slow. Uh, I do it in 10 minute sets, right? And then in between the 10 minute sets, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna work out the upper body, right? Cause- Get you uh, some free weights? Oh yeah, I'll do, I'll do, I'll do it all. <laughs> Probably not free weights because uh, the knee. 
you know, I got could stabilize them myself. Because oh. I have to go walk over and go get them. But I can sit down on the machines and do the machines and not have to worry about, you know, but normally I do free weights, but. Yeah. Um, you see the pretty flowers blooming over there? Yeah. Those are called irises? These are called irises. I think so, yeah. yeah. Grandma Carol's got a little patch over by where the uh, rabbits used to be uh, before the storm came that one time. And there's yellow and white irises. They're not the daylilies. Daylilies don't bloom until later, a little bit later on. The orange daylilies, I believe those are irises. Like purplish, but purplish, like violet, right? Mm -hmm. Violet. Um, Grandma Carol got out and mowed. We still got, she still got a weed eat. Nor <coughs> normally I mow, or normally she mows and I weed eat. Uh, and then I'll bush hog. But uh, with the knee, I, I haven't, I, 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 I mowed right before my surgery. And then she, it was just barely dry enough for her to mow yesterday, except for over there. <laughs> Oops. So what happened was, uh, we're, we're in the house watching TV. Jennifer hadn't been here very long. And um, I get a text saying, I'm stuck. Can you help? I'm like, huh? <laughs> so uh, she's going to be mad at me for telling her stories. But, um, you know, the septic runs out down that part of the, the property down there, the, the field lines. And then when it rains, rains so much, the septic just kind of starts oozing out the, the top, you know. Yeah. So it's real wet, real wet down over there. And uh, she got a little too close to where those septic lines are. And those zero-turn motor mowers, uh, those, those, those rear tires, they just sit there and spin. So she got stuck in the mud. And uh, she had the four-wheeler over there, the one that was stuck in the woods, running, had to get mm -hmm. this out. She had the four-wheeler, but she didn't know how to use the winch. So uh, I, didn't, I didn't do anything I wasn't supposed to. All I did was show her how to use the winch. And she jumped on it. And uh, she backed up and pulled that uh, mower out, out of the mud all by herself. And I was just standing there. I should have filmed it. That's what I should have done. She's awesome. <laughs> but there was a little accident after that, I hear. Uh, yeah. With the ridge crib. Mm -hmm. Somebody. Uh, I've got a gray water line that runs out the back of the uh, ridge crib. Because pretty much all we use the, the, the ridge crib is for is gray water. And I got a gray water line that runs out and it reduces from the septic line down to a regular garden hose. Well, I think the grass was so high that the mower caught the, gar the, the, the gray water hose. Yeah. And it ripped, uh, it broke the fitting on the uh, reducer from the septic. So uh, got to replace one of those, found out they're $4. $4.62 on Amazon. Can't beat that. 42% off too. So. Uh, I'll put a link when I do that when I go to fix that I'll put a link because that's cheap if you got an RV you want one of those it reduces the RV discharge down to a garden hose style so if you ever just want to have gray water going out you know no black water that's the way to do it now that's the way to do it those carpenter bees are weird they just sit there and hang don't yeah. they yeah they're just straight chilling right next to us yeah 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 they're looking for uh, wood I guess it's a place to burrow into yeah, these are super comfortable. I can just do this all day long. We both done the fire pit last night, but uh, we didn't. We, we got too tired. Yeah. 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 Just, just sit and play cards Man. and have a good time. Oh yeah, this is nice right here. You sure you want to go to the gym? <laughs> I need to. I know I do too. I I got I, I got to I got to do P it Friday and Saturday. So. I got I got a PT three times a day, right? And I I I did a little stretching this morning, but I, I was getting ready for the. Um, for the lessons from the ridge. So uh, I gotta go to the gym, I gotta PT it anyway, right? So what better way to do it than do it on the machines they have at PT. You know? I usually only stay about an hour. What do you normally do? Um, back when I was going to the gym regularly, I would, I, would, I would do up to six miles on the treadmill and then work out oh, wow. upper body. Yeah, so I'd be there at least hour and a half, right? Yeah, that's a good yeah. workout there. Uh, Obviously, I'm not doing that now. So, <laughs> but I want to get back to that. I want to get back to uh, uh, three, three to six miles. A 10k is six miles, roughly. I want to get back to building a to leisurely doing a, doing a 10k and uh, working out free weights, you know, on, on strengthening the upper body. You know, so because I used to do it r definitely regularly. That's why I still have a, a gym membership. So. We got three sets of chairs here. These black ones, zero gravity. We got the maroon ones, which are exactly just like this. And then we have the aqua marine blue ones over there. Uh, which ones are your favorite to look at? 
those. <laughs> Which ones are your favorite to sit My favorite in? Favorite color. Um, this one. Yeah, these are these, these yeah, because those really aren't very comfortable, yeah. are they? Those the you know the the uh, they aquamarine. Need a, a, they need some cushion. cushions, yeah, yeah, yeah. But these are so, you know, the fact that you can adjust. Oh man, and I really never thought these headrests were that big a deal until I had the headrest. Yeah. Because whenever we took the headrest off of that one, and I sit in it without it, I'm like, what? something's missing. <laughs> something's missing. Need your pillow. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly what it is. That's exactly what it is. So I highly recommend these. T O M S H O O Tom Shoe uh, chairs. Um, they're great. I mean, uh, you can you can buy much much more expensive ones, and um, I don't know why you'd want to. Mm -mm. These these are fine. These are fine. All right, you ready to go to the gym? I'm ready. All right, let's do this. All right, guys, I appreciate every one of you sticking around, and sh and Jen Jen's here today. Here's the thumbnail right there. Ah! <laughs> All right, love you guys. Until next time, hope everyone has a blessed, blessed day. Keep rambling. Go, Go Ridge Life. Up.